Greetings all, Vanna here for Taurus's weekly message. Taurus, the first card that came out for you is the moon card. Now, there are a lot of things being brought up to the surface from research and scientific discoveries and breakthroughs occurring now and soon, as well as in your own vessel and body. Things are coming to the surface because... If you look at the Schumann, we had a huge, huge release pattern yesterday, starting at like 2 a.m. And that explains why all day yesterday I felt off and weird and strange. There is a gap in anxiety in energy that creates anxiety from the base vibration that you are at now to the vibration that you are trying to get to through this release and integration pattern that we are doing. Now, that anxiety will soon come to an end. We just had a full moon, I believe on Sunday. Sunday was, I believe, our full moon. And you are still in that energy if you want to do a casting, if you want to do a release or an attraction spell. I would seriously do the release. I know that the full moon is not the ideal time to do a release. The new moon is. But lunar energy is still lunar energy. And what matters most is your intentions. What are you trying to gain from this energy? Balance, because it's been out of balance. You've been too overburdened. It's been too much. Everything that you're trying to do, and it is things that you want, but there are also like other, like there are the ones that you are trying to build and put together. And then there's like all the other noise from other people around you. And so what is being brought up right now with this moon card in temperance is needing to release anything that puts more of a strain on you than it does good. And this could be habits or um, engagements that you do, like going out to Dave and Buster's, but you spend a ridiculous amount of money there, you leave with a headache, and you never really win anything. But you may have had a good time or had good times with your friends, but there are other ways to do that than doing something that is so overstimulating, expensive, and draining. And that could just be an example. I am not yucking anyone's yum or telling you how to live your life. I do recognize that some of my fellow Tureans out there are frankly overwhelmed and they feel like their their entire world is falling apart. And I have to say that it kind of is because... Your world had a lot of fighting, a lot of lying and stealing, and that is not what you want. That is not in harmony with this balance. So what is most difficult right now for my fellow Tureans is giving up the control that you have in the situation and allowing the change that is trying to occur in your life to come through. Because right now it is being met with resistance of you stating, this is what I have, this is my world, and I am going to protect it. Even if your world makes you miserable, even if your world makes you exhausted, drained, you spend way too much money taking care of other people's bullshit, you spend way too much time and energy taking care of things for other people and ensuring that they are set up and nothing is left for yourself. But because this is your world, because this is the role that you've put yourself in, you will fight and defend that. And spirit is trying to bring in something that is better, something that is greater, because this situation cannot last forever. It cannot last much longer than it is now, because even now it is exhausting you, draining you of your power, of your magic, of your divinity, of that beautiful energy about you that these other people are trying to take from, trying to scrape from. And they will just move on to the next battery when they have depleted you, but you will be left to heal. Yeah, there is a passage, there is a lot of movement going on right now, but you have to allow yourself to go on that journey. You have to allow yourself to say, yes, this is for me. I may not know where this is going. I may not understand why I face these challenges along my journey, but I am aware everything is a lesson or a blessing 
And most situations are both. If you have a great sense of awareness and understanding, as well as humbleness and humility, you can understand the lesson and blessing in, in every situation. Sometimes the lesson was I was too controlling and I held on to that situation too tightly. Sometimes the blessing is I was rejected by that person or rejected by that job and you find out later that it's a really toxic place to be or they're going out of business or they're, you know, low key key people in their dungeon. Rejection is divine protection. and Sometimes you have to learn very hard lessons from your own mistakes. That's why you have to understand everything is a lesson and a blessing. It may be harder to see in some situations, but what you are moving towards right now is freedom. And it's something that is very important to you because you have seen so much struggle with people trapped in various kinds of hells, various kinds of prisons, from actual prisons to energetic prisons to legal prisons. You have seen people and are very familiar with people constraining and confining others' energies. This may have been done to you. You may have done this yourself and are learning from your mistakes because you have to understand, my love, we have all made mistakes. We have all fucked up. We have all hurt someone. It is what we choose to do moving forward, learning from those lessons. Will you continue to do something know it act, knowing it actively hurts someone? Or will you choose to change the thought process, choose to change the action? It is all in the energy that you choose to move forward in because spirit sees you want release. Spirit sees you want this, this shift and this change. And they're like, I got the magic in me. Every time I touch the sky, it turns it into gold. Yeah, you have the guardians of the land and the hummingbird spirit bringing you joy and protection, giving you the space to be courage, courageous, and turning your energy of financial resources and generosity. Like, Tauruses have one of the most amazing hearts of any other sign because you are so grounded in the earth and nature yet share a great sense of empathy that is not often seen in the earlier signs. When you have a secure feeling in your own finances and in your home, there is an incredible, generous heart that wants to share what is in excess, what is not immediately needed with others so that they can also go through their journey so that they can also experience this level of joy and that's why it's so important for you right now Taurus to not give in to how scary it is to feel all of these emotions to not be caught up in the power of those emotions and the memories that are attached to them because emotions are literally energy in motion it is the most clear form of energy movement inside of you. When you are rushed over with rage or arousal or joy or sadness, you feel it move over your entire body. That's one of the beginning steps of recognizing and moving energy. Recognize what you are feeling now. What is the cause of it? And release any pain that is associated with that frustration, anger, or lack because we are moving into our best and brightest era. And that means we cannot bring along anything that would taint the beautiful life we are creating. Have a beautiful day, Taurus.